In this video, I will show how to download and install MySQL 8 community server in Windows 11. Let's get started by opening your favorite web browser and browse this URL mysql.com. Now scroll down and click on MySQL community server. Okay. Now select operating system from this drop down list. Okay. And follow this recommended download. Download MySQL installer MSI. Go to download page or you can download zip archive file from this download link ok now select operating system and click on this download link to download MSI installer I have already downloaded it on my machine ok open download folder and open mysql installer community installer file ok allow this app to make changes to your device click on yes allow this app to make changes to your device again click on yes ok choose a setup type select the setup type that suits your use case you can choose developer default server only client only or full setup type or custom ok now click on next ok select the product you would like to install on this computer ok now click on next ok the following products will be installed ok now click on execute to install the following packages this will take a while
ok now click on next you will now walk through a configuration wizard for each of the following products you can cancel at any point if you wished without configuring all the products click on next to continue ok now select configuration type you can choose one of three options for development computer server computer or dedicated computer select development computer and then click on next ok now choose authentication method good practice is to use strong password encryption for authentication that is recommended ok now click on next now enter your mysql root password use lower case upper case number and special character for a strong password combination ok ok now click on next ok now click on next to apply this configuration click on execute ok this will take a while and initializing database may take a long time ok the configuration for mysql server 8 successful click finish to continue ok we will now walk through a configuration wizard for each of the following products now click on next now click on finish click on next ok start mysql workbench after setup and start mysql shell after setup you can check otherwise uncheck and then click on finish ok this is the mysql shell and this is the mysql workbench ok now log in to mysql workbench root password ok now create a database using sql query create database mydb ok now execute the selected portion of the script and see mydb has been created ok show hidden items and go to local disk and then go to program data and see a folder mysql 
here the mysql database will be stored okay this is our newly created database mydb okay if you like this video give a like for this video comment and share thank you so much for watching this video